Hello, N4H and H here. I mentioned in the uh, previous video uh, about Ham Radio Deluxe called uh, Tip Number Two, how at the end of an operating session I will export my log into QRZ so people can uh, get their uh, confirmations and and also too it makes a good a good backup. So I just wanted to I've uh, I've got the camera trained on my second monitor here, and I just wanted to show you how I go about doing that. So, uh, in the last operating session, I worked these stations. So what I'm doing is I'm clicking the, the top station. And uh, the last one that I have not uploaded yet. So holding down my shift key, selecting all of those. You know how to do that with any computer. You just hold the shift key. So click that, hold shift, click the last one, first one and last one. You got them. And now I'm going to right click and go to export ADIF. I click the uh, ellipses, the three little dots, and I use my downloads folder and it, so it automatically returns there, which is convenient. And I always um, export it as hrd underscore upload dot adi. That's the default and I just leave it that way and then I just overwrite that one every time. So I'm going to uh, click save. Yes, I want to replace it. I want to export. It, it tells me it's exporting seven entries. I click OK and finish. Now I'm going to move the camera and uh, train it on the other monitor. Let me bear with me a second. And let me get this aimed up there. All right. So there's here's QRZ over here on the right hand side of my other monitor. And there's the other part of Ham Radio Deluxe that you saw in the previous video for controlling the radio. Now from Ham Radio Deluxe, which I do have you know kind of squished in a little bit so I could fit a, fit it all on this screen. You just click settings. You guys probably, you know, those of you who work with Ham Radio Deluxe, you know how to do this. They have they have changed it recently, so it's a little bit different look to it. All right, so I clicked on settings. I pull it down a little bit here to where I see import, and then browse to HRD underscore upload.adi. So you see it's opening the same um, downloads folder. Up, see up there at the top, uh, top right, it's opening the same downloads folder. You know how Windows is, once I go there, the next time I come back using the same application, it returns there. So that makes it really convenient. So I select that file that I just uh, exported. I click open and you'll see it loads here about next to the word browse and I just simply click import ADI file. And when it finishes crunching, I hit continue. And then I'll click list up here. And now my uh, newest contacts have been added to uh, QRZ and uh, you know I heard to the right anybody who requests a confirmation or it you know QRZ is going to go out and see if they've already uploaded the contacts as well and it will confirm them for me but you know how it is you can request uh, a confirmation through uh, QRZ as well simply by you know checking one of them coming down here to actions request confirmation hit continue I'm not going to do that to, to this fella, but uh, anyway, just wanted to go through that part since I had mentioned it in the uh, previous uh, video about how I wait till uh, end of a session or end of the day if I've been, you know, operating all day. But if I'm going to, if I know that I'm going to be back in a couple of hours and do some more, I might go ahead and export right then. So end of a session. Um, and then later, if I come back and make a few more contacts, I would upload those later as well. So again, it serves as a nice backup having this on QRZ, but it also gives uh, opportunity for confirmation. Okay, I hope you found the video, whoops, about to drop the camera, uh, helpful and informative. And uh, thank you for uh, supporting me through the Patreon um, program, patreon.com slash N4HNH. So I can keep the content coming. 73 from N4HNH.